was good. Welcome to the vlog, biatch. I should not start the video like that. Or like this. I'm naked. I should go put some clothes on. I need some lotion on my face. I need to go put on some clothes, right? Just Just so you know, this is a preface to how this vlog gonna go. A lot is happening, yo. Boom! Okay, I have a shirt on now. So that I won't scare you. Outfit of the dizzle. Oh, outfit of the dizzle. Okay, we're done with that. Bet you're wondering, Shay, why are you not in focus? Bet you're wondering. Why is this lighting shitty? Long story short, you guys. A lot has been going on. Let's let's get a little bit more serious. A lot has been going on in my life. I'm going through a lot of changes right now. Good, bad, happy, sad. <sighs> Yellow, green, red, blue, right? Um, and there are some aspects of my life that have been keeping me from... Um, posting a lot and just feeling safe or feeling like comfortable um here online and like in real life too if you see like little gnats like they're all around my plants and i'm working on like getting rid of them i'm sorry yeah it's just life is kind of like really crazy right now and i did want to make this like really formal and like sit down on my um actual camera and talk about something because it's really been bothering me for a long time i'm gonna go put on a little bit of like it's been bothering me for a little bit um and i haven't talked about it because i just i haven't known how to address it right so here i go trying to address it now i have been getting um a lot of comments um for example I will be listening to an artist that I like, someone comes out with new music or whatever, and on their um, comment section, I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest song ever, right? Oh my gosh, you're doing a damn thing, good job to the artist. Totally just about music, about like my likes and just normal stuff, like I'm a normal human being, I enjoy listening to music, there's nothing weird about it. But in the comments of that comment section, I will have a slew of hate and harassment and bullying on um, about my channel and about my content and um, it really is discouraging and super mean and hurtful and makes me not want to do YouTube and makes me like <sighs> contemplate like where this channel is going and it just is really not cool it's not okay um and the comments that are in the the sections and and on my page i've been getting them quite a lot on my page this past few months is the fact that i have people asking me um why is your channel not doing well why aren't you getting the amount of views that you used to get um you definitely paid for your subscribers um, how does it feel to have a channel that tanked? Um, oh, it's so sad because you're such a pretty girl. Why aren't your videos doing well? Or like, imagine imagine putting in this amount of work and trying to do all this for you to get like, not that many views, lol, must suck. And just like stuff like that, like a lot of that. I'm getting a lot of that. I'm getting a lot of questions why my channel... Um, even has as many followers as it does people think i really buy followers i have never in my entire life and i have said this so many times i am sick and tired of saying this this is the last time that i will address this whole entire thing i have never bought in my subscribers i never will i don't have the money for that i don't think it's like important like that like i will never buy followers i will never buy subscribers i will never purchase fake um clout 
Um, I just accumulated the amount of subscribers that I have. I'm not even a big YouTuber. Um, I feel like my name is more known than like my content and like my views and my analytics and my data. I've worked with a ton of managers, like probably like five, like a handful of managers that have asked me, why is your channel the way it is? Why does it do this all the time? Um, uh, here's what you have to do to make your channel succeed. Here's what you have to stop doing to make your channel do better. Um, change who you are, but you know, um, polish yourself up, um, take it more seriously, do this, do that, basically play the puppet. And that's not who I am. That's never who I will be. I never did this for money. Uh, I'm not making, I make 25 cents a video maybe. Like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I literally don't make any money from YouTube. I'm not with a, um, I don't have a manager or an agent or um, anybody. I do this all by myself and I have for over six years now and it's just my hobby. It's what I love to do. I love the community that I have built. I love my fig fam. I would not be here on earth if it wasn't for my extended family and for you watching and it means so much to me that you even bother to click on my video and I express that very often and I'm very grateful and I do feel blessed but the hate that comes along with this territory is extremely ill. It's extremely sickening. It definitely has wreaked a lot of havoc on my mental health being online and being under that microscope and being um you know uh, having to draw that boundary and that line between personal life online life work life and then like my goals and my and my future and what i want to achieve eventually and having those comments and stuff really makes me like sad and um not want to do youtube or want to be this influencer that i never really um intended to be it just kind of like snowballed it kind of just happened and i'm super grateful for it um again but <clears throat> it just the bad gets really really bad and um it really has been bothering me those comments and i feel like i have to i have to talk about it and let you guys know like if you come across comments like that on other platforms or you know of people who are like that like stand up for for people stand up if you feel like something is not right let your voice be heard never stay silent because if you're quiet and if you're silent then you're giving into the um oppressor and you're not you're not for the underdog i've always been on the underdog side i've always been you know here for the people who struggle here for the everyday people i'm here for the people who want to watch me who love me who want to see what you know i it's just it just it's crazy how much hate i get literally for no reason and um it's really really hurtful and i've just been dealing with that and i have a team now that i'm working with and i will talk to them about it um <clears throat> but there's aspects of being um an online personality that like are extremely scary and i can't talk about it um but just know like not everything is okay and clearly i think i've been very vocal about it on my instagram and on my platforms um that like i'm going through a lot and a lot has changed and um just to bear with me and that I, i'm not going to stop doing youtube i love doing this it's part of me like i was always destined to be a youtuber i just love filming and documenting and editing i love it all it is definitely a full job it is work it is stressful it is um very much business but um it's it's a mixture of business and pleasure for me so i do enjoy doing it and i will never stop because I love my fig fam too much and the people who ride with me are just so incredible and I love connecting with people from all walks of the earth and planet and you know if we could bond over mutual interests that's great. Um, another thing in conjunction with everything I've just said is I am like slowing down on requested Ariana Grande stuff because um, a lot of the time 
the hate comes from older videos that I've made in the past and I have a lot of my old videos still up. I love to keep them up just to look back on my growth and just the progress that I've made in my life and it's very nostalgic and reminiscent and I like to look at little me and be like, girl, like if you only knew what, you know, what you are today and what you are to come because I feel like, um, I'm on that grind. Like I want to, I want to be a big YouTuber. I want to make it like, I want to see my views grow. I want to see my channel grow. And, um, it would be awesome if you hit that subscribe button and join the fig fam because we welcome everybody here. But if you notice bullying, harassment, anything explicit or any weird stuff, let me know. I will take care of that for you because I want my space to be a really safe, sacred, um, gathering area where we can all just love each other and spread positivity and spread peace and just vibe together um but so like the ariana grande content that i do nine out of ten you guys is recommended i get a lot of people to say uh, commenting and and asking me to do ariana grande um material like content do her makeup look um can you try her perfume can you try her new makeup can you do this music video look? Can you dress like this? Can you go to the city and pretend to be her? Can you play tricks? Can you sing? Can you do this, that, and the, and, and the third? Um, and even though it's fun, I like to kind of like cosplay it. Not really cosplay as her, but like I like to take inspiration from her. I feel like out of all of the celebrities, I am pretty similar to her in many ways in life, which is really crazy because... Um, we have like doppelgangers like that's a real thing like people look alike people sound alike people are a lot more similar than you think and you know there's there's not just one pop sensation superstar out there there's many people with the it factor with the talent with the skill with the ability um it's just getting that exposure and getting the right team together it takes a whole team um it really takes a village to make stuff happen and um yeah I, I feel like eventually i will be able to hopefully do what i want to do in my music career and in my life because i do i love music and i love to sing and um i would love to go down that path one day um but the correlation and the comparison really 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 gets to you it turns into a um okay oh i'm greasy from that um but anyway so it's not very healthy and um i am me i never want to be someone other than me i'm shana lee amber's born in the bronx new york i had a rough upbringing i have been extremely p poor lived in poverty um I moved, um, got a great education for myself. Um, I have been just hustling and struggling almost all of my life in every aspect of life. And it shaped me and molded me into the woman that I am today and I would never go back and redo anything. I don't regret anything in my life. And I am just really grateful for how my life is. And um, I never want to be anyone other than Shayna Lee, Shay, Shayna, Shane, Shay Shay, simply Shayna Lee. Um, I just want to nip that in the bud and I know you guys don't do it, but um, I'm speaking to my haters and to the people who I know will watch this and still don't like me. Like you'll still watch it for whatever reason. You don't like me, yet you still are on my shit. Go fuck yourself. Do us all a favor. Go fuck yourself. Go get off, go have a great day, go eat some great food, go meditate, go drink some tea, read a book, journal, have a good life because like I'm trying to do that for me and um, if you don't like what I do, you nobody is forcing you to be here, get off my page, get off my channel, I don't need your like, I don't need your subscribe, um, I simply do all that I do for the people who love me for who I am. Um, I'm learning that I can't people please everybody and it's really an illness to be a people pleaser because it's just absolutely impossible and it's hard for me to say no and have boundaries and to um, 
really like treat myself right and and I'm learning though and it doesn't matter how late in the game you are to anything it doesn't matter your age it doesn't matter just start now to progress and to better yourself even in the slightest of ways drink a glass of water pat yourself on the back for doing that go take a nap and just this has been really really heavy on me and if this is all that this video is I'm happy because I um, want to start regularly uploading again but when I hold stuff back and when I'm not vulnerable and open with you guys it keeps me from feeling like my content is genuine and and real and really connect with you guys so um, most youtubers I really am the most humble the most genuine sincere like pure innocent person I never want to hurt anyone's feelings or you know make them feel bad but um honestly if you don't fucks with me then there's no point in even why is you here right like go i love my room i love my space yes i'm kind of messy sometimes but i am a hard working woman and i don't have all the time in the world you know i i could just i do what i can um i'm working on downsizing like clutter like minimalizing stuff and Cutting back on my slight hoarding tendencies, I do tend to get attached to things uh, very heavily, so I'm working on that. Um, want to be very close to my family, to my job, um, and to uh, my town. I, I love my town. I love where I'm at, and I love my family, and I love my life right now. Um, and it took a very, very, very hard long time to get to this point, and I'm still always, every day, working on it. Um, but it's all very new right now it's all very new all very scary and I want to take you guys along um, but I also have to work with my therapist on um, setting boundaries and stuff like that so my channel will be changing and uh, for the better um, less Ariana Grande stuff and more just Shane Lee stuff I think I've been contemplating changing my name on here my username um, because I felt like Back in the day when I made my channel, Simply Shana Lee, nobody had like simply anything really. The, the only one I knew was Simply Nessa and like I haven't seen any of her videos in a really long time since I don't even know a really long time but that was like the only other person who I ever heard of Simply Anything on YouTube so back six years ago I was like you know what Simply Shana Lee sounds cool catchy and like I can use that as all my handles. But now looking at it, I'm like, I think I'm outgrowing Simply Shana Lee. I, I don't think my life is simple in any aspect. I think my life is actually very complicated and complex. And I am definitely a very deep and mysterious type of person. Um, so I'm not feeling that uh, username as much anymore. And it is sad because it is like my business I am my business, so Simply Shana Lee is what people know me for and um, what I've made a name for myself as, but I think it's time that I do a little bit of a rebrand and I just want to change it to It's Me Shana Lee because that's all I am and that's all I can ever be is myself and I feel like it it feels better to say it's me Shana Lee so it's it might switch from simply Shana Lee to it's me Shana Lee and I hope you guys are okay with that and understand where I'm coming from with that um, and can like spread the word um, Shana Lee is a really unique name so I feel like people know um, me for my name and also maybe just like my face but um, another thing is uh, you don't have to have a blue verification check or a, a YouTube ver a verified check or you know have a million followers of subscribers to be successful and to be a public figure and to be somebody out here on the internet and recognized around and uh, you know whatever and in a public figure or personality right you don't need all of that um, people notice me and and know who I am based off of like 
how I talk, um, how I dress, how I walk, my hair, like different aspects of yourself. So when people are like, why is your channel tanking? That's embarrassing. It's like, no, actually, like, I don't care about the views. You're, you might care about views and numbers and analytics and data and money, but I do this because I actually have my whole entire heart and my soul and my passion and my love for doing this and for the people who do click on my videos and watch and if I do make a little bit of money like 25 cents that's awesome and I really really do appreciate the 25 cents because over time it'll make a dollar and it'll make three and it'll make six and it'll make nine and um whatever I do end up making from YouTube just goes straight back into making new content and supporting myself so that I can like eat right and be healthy for you guys and be in the right mentality um, take you places with me and film around. I've done a lot of growing in the last even year. I was in a really, really, really bad dark place not even too long ago. And um, when it comes to like love and relationship stuff, I don't really get into that. I, I didn't, I don't want to talk about it, but um, Falling out of love is hard, but what's even harder is learning how to unlove. And I learned that, you know, the hard way. And now I can say that if shit goes down, I can always depend on myself. And I love myself so completely. And oh, oh my god, I'm just in a much better place right now. And everything feels healthier and everything feels brighter and lighter. Even though I do have my dark days, trust me, I have those dark days days bitch you know every day is a new chance to start again as if it's a whole new year as if it's a whole new page and a whole new chapter um and there are times you might fall back to your old ways but you got to know that like don't ever let it get to you as bad as it was because coming back from that will be 10 times harder so even if it's not that great of a day it'll never be the worst keep it from being the worst and you'll be just fine I promise uh, it's a lot going on I'm hoping I'm hoping please like this video comment down below what you think and like something positive and uplifting for everyone to read and enjoy because that's all we need in the world right now is just more love more support more appreciation and um, less of this hate and comparison and um, like drama I feel like it's very much drama I am you know, I have no bad blood with Ariana Grande at all. I know this sounds weird, but I am friends with her friends. So I have to, like, say this and, and like, address it. Um, I've talked to her makeup artists and stuff and shared DMs with them and her friends. And, like, just even having that little connect with, like, her circle is just beyond me. And I will never understand how... I managed to make those connections through this platform. I'm just so forever grateful and I really look up to these people that she is working with and, and her as a person because they are just some of the most talented people. I literally get really emotional about it because they don't even understand how much they have influenced my life and have made things happen for me just um, as a creator recreating stuff so when I do get hate for doing something that I really love and it comes out of nothing but positivity and um just like in like she's influenced me and I just want to influence other people um in, in the healthy positive way it just really boggles my mind um and, and, it, and it extra hurts when people put me down for for doing that or for you know like, you don't fucking look like Ariana Grande. How how dare you? That's embarrassing. Like, wow, you must hate yourself. You must want to be her. Like, you're not her. You'll never be her. Don't even try to be her. It's like, whoa. Like, you're really, really pressed and coming at a person who you have no idea what they're going through and, like, how hard they've worked to get to where they are. And, like, I'm not even at my peak right now. Like, you haven't seen anything yet and you you already are on the hate wagon and it's just it's crazy to me and i can't even imagine how how what she's gone through at the scale and the capa like capacity that she's at and stuff but um yeah i i don't know what goes on like behind her scenes and and on that end of things but um i have nothing but love and i've never put her down and i've never 
talked badly about her or about her team or anyone like I'm not here impersonating anybody I'm not here dressing up and going out as nobody I will not do her wedding makeup that is her day I, I won't do that um, and I've just always been very respectful of her and her whole team and her family and her crew and and um, sometimes I feel like there are other people that haven't been like that and who have still gotten more recognition and who have like made it to, made it kind of and like worked up that ladder in a way but in like the not so healthy way and it's kind of like mm, is that what you guys really want is that really what you want to see do i need to spend thousands of dollars for people to click on my video do i need to completely change and transform who i am for people to find me interesting do I need to? No, I don't need to do that. And I don't want to do that ever. Like I won't, I won't do that. And if that makes you upset that I won't impersonate someone, or if it makes you upset that you feel I don't look like someone and like someone else says that I do, take that somewhere else. I don't need that in my comment section, in my life, under my comments that I make on other artists stuff like it makes me literally not want to even comment on anything not even like putting other people up and that's what makes me really sad because I only ever come from a place of love and these people are very 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 hurt people that need to get help for their for themselves and I hope they do very soon because the way the platform is going is um not in the greatest direction that it is so overly saturated with a lot of negative but i'm here for the peace love and positivity yo always and forever that is who i am that is my mo that is my message that is everything about me peace love positivity yo subscribe thumbs this video up leave a comment if you'd like positive stuff guys affirmations goals um you name it anything positive your dog's name your cat's age anything you want down below and I will read it and I always respond to my comments I really try even like the older ones I do um some videos will be starting to be privated or deleted um just so that I can make more content and make my channel more of like what feels good for me so um I'm gonna leave this video at that because it's very long and I have to go clean my car I have to um pick up my check from my job my last check oh my god that's a whole nother thing okay i guess i'll oh i'm leaving the job that i'm at right now to start my job that i had previously um pre-covid days and although it feels kind of like not really like taking a step back because i got kind of like more of a promotion like my, this opportunity is a lot better than what i'm dealing with right now or was before so i do feel like it's a bit of an upgrade in a in a weird way and it's not a step back it's definitely a step forward in a strange new way new old way but um today's my last day at my other job and it weighs really heavy on me because you guys know i deal with infants and babies and you have those connections with those little tiny seeds and um having to leave is heartbreaking so i'm very emotional i'm getting my dot soon i'm also i'm also going to get vaccinated which is a whole nother topic i will probably vlog that for you guys and talk about my thoughts and how i feel about that whole thing because i'm not very happy about it i'm not very excited about it i'm actually dreading it i'm not looking forward to this i'm not anti-vax but i'm also not pro-vax i'm very much like skeptical about this whole situation and about the force being Im implemented and about all about it so that's that will be a whole new video and i will i will take you guys with me to get vaccinated <sighs> i feel like there's a lot going on in my life right now and so thank you for giving me this opportunity to invite you guys into my life and for understanding that there are some things that I don't want to put out on the internet um, and excited. I am excited for what's to come and for the future of this channel but I just want to make content that I like that feels good every Sunday. And if you're down with that then let's get down with the get down because I love you. <laughs>